Okay, the problem with this is that infinity. If I'm doing an integral and I have limits of integration, I want, I want these to be numbers. So we're going to rewrite this as a limit problem. I'm going to use the letter B, and B represents a number. Now, I didn't leave space to write, uh, to write something that I need to write, so I'm going to start over here. So the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x dx equals, I'm going to leave the space this time, the integral from 1 to b, 1 over x dx, where b stands for a number, and I want to do here the limit as b approaches infinity. So when you take the test on this material, you're graded on whether or not you wrote this correctly. It, now, I need to do this part right here. And that's fairly easy. What's the antiderivative of 1 over x dx? ln. So this is the limit as b approaches infinity of the natural log of x, and we're going from 1 to b. So we'll plug in the b, and then we'll plug in the 1, and we'll subtract the 2. So the limit as b approaches infinity of the natural log of b minus the natural log of 1. So the natural log of 1 is 0. So this becomes the limit as b approaches infinity of the natural log of b. And now you need to figure out what that is. For this, it is helpful to recall what the graph of the natural <laughs> log of x looks like. I'm going to put this here on the side. Recall the graph of y equals the natural log of x. If, again, if you don't remember what that graph looks like, I'm about to remind you. The natural log of x, let's see, if I plug in 1, I get 0. And in fact, if I plug in e, I get 1. Not that you necessarily need all all that, but you need to know what the shape of this graph is. There is a vertical asymptote, which is the y-axis, and then it does this. Now, it looks like, it looks like if you go far enough out, it looks like it kind of levels off and becomes horizontal, but it does not. It keeps getting higher and higher and higher, although the, the rate of increase on getting higher might be slowing down. It keeps, it keeps getting higher and higher and higher. So as, as B approaches infinity, what does this equal? This is infinity. So this area that I was looking for, the area that I've put in pink here, that area is infinite. 